What's going on everybody and welcome back to Islanders Daily and today we have our first ever career video for you. Now we are going to be doing the career of Dennis Potvin, the best Islander defenseman in history. And we are going to be going through his career to figure out just how amazing he was. Uh, his birthday passed about a week ago, it was October 29th, but I didn't have the setup yet so I thought I might as well just wait until I can do it justice and have a lot of fun with it. So. We are going to start from the very beginning, and I hope you enjoy. As the first overall pick in the 1973 NHL entry draft, Dennis Potvin was already one of the top prospects. He was known to be an amazing defenseman who was going to carry the team that he was on. Now, he didn't need to be carrying anybody as far as the Islanders went, but he was an amazing and critical piece of that Islanders team. His first season with them, the 73-74 season, he put up 54 points in 77 games, putting up 17 goals and 37 assists. Now that is a great rookie season. He is unbelievable at putting the puck in the back of the net, but also very good in his own end, just as everybody said he was going to be. Now in his sophomore season in 74-75, he put up 76 points in 79 games, getting 21 goals and 56 assists, and he was off to an amazing start. Two amazing years in his career, and he's continuing to grow. How far could he grow? That's what nobody knew because we had just gotten done with the era of Bobby Orr, we were in the era of Paul Coffey. So who knows? Who knows what he could end up being? He could end up putting up 150 points a season. You never know. But, carrying on. In the 1975-76 season, Potvin put up 31 goals and 67 assists and 98 points. He actually almost hit a 100 point mark, which probably would have gotten him the Norris Trophy, but did it anyway. So what an amazing season for him. Uh, not a Norris year, but definitely would have been one in today's NHL. And continuing to show, he's a great defenseman. In 1976-77, he put up 80 points in 80 games played with 25 goals and 55 assists. Continuing to put the puck in the back of the net and securing his place as one of the best defenders in history. However, he's still off to a level start. Can he pick it up? I guess we'll have to see. But Spoiler, he does. The next year in 1977-78, when the Islanders are just starting to make deep playoff runs, in 80 games, he was able to put up 30 goals and 64 assists for 94 points. He almost hit a 100 point mark again, which is something he would struggle to hit his entire career. And he did manage to hit it once, but it's something that he was always just clawing at and looking for, but can never really seem to find it, you know? It's kind of like when a squirrel in March has to find the nuts that they buried in November. You know, they're just like, they're clawing at it, they're clawing at it, but they can't quite find it. That's kind of what happened with him. But it doesn't matter because when he was in his own end, he was just as much of an all-star. So it didn't make a difference. He was amazing in both ends of the ice. And that's why the Islanders loved him so much. And that's what made him such a critical part of the team. Now in the 78-79 season, he finally got it. In 73 games, he put up 31 goals and 70 assists for 101 points. And that was the most points he'd ever put up in his career. And he got 31 goals, which is also a career record. And he was off to a booming start. And so were the Islanders. They were ready to make a huge playoff run. Uh, they made a deep playoff run that year. and. Now comes the dynasty. In 1979-80, the first Islander Stanley Cup, he only played 31 games, but I have eight goals, 33 assists for 41 points, much more than point a game. That was actually a pace for about 95 points, but he didn't get there because of injury. And the Islanders obviously won the cup that year and won another cup in 80-81, when in 74 games, he had 76 points with 20 goals and 56 assists. Now that is a really good total for him and he, took the Islanders to a cup with it. Uh, he did very well in all four playoff runs, as you guys are going to see, and he was just crazy on the ice. He was amazing in his own end, and then he'd come back the other way and put it in the back of the net. That's what was so special about Dennis Pop. In the 81-82 season, the third Stanley Cup for the Islanders. In 60 games, he put up 61 points, including 24 goals and 37 assists. That is a really good total for him. He is still over point per game on a pace for about 85 points, which would be right up there with his other seasons. So, although we missed the games for injury when he was there, he was still exactly the same guy. In the final cup year, the 82-83 season in 69 games, he put up 12 goals, 54 assists for 66 points. That was his first non-point per game season in a very long time. Although he had almost doubled his point total 
uh, a few years before, in 1978, 79, he was still on track to being one of the best players in history. And he definitely achieved that with the coming years. In the 83-84 season, when he finally gets back over that 80 point mark with playing 78 games, 22 goals, 63 assists, and that was the year that the Islanders were beat out by the Oilers in five games in the Stanley Cup Final, ending the Islanders dynasty. Although some people still consider it part of the dynasty because you don't have to win the cup every year to be a dynasty. But I consider it the end of the dynasty. Continuing on in the 84-85 season, he put up 68 points in 77 games, 17 goals, 51 assists. That is a off record for him. He's not normally that low on the point total. By this point, he's already in his early to mid 30s and starting to slow down a little bit, which is pretty understandable. In the 86-87 season, he put up 42 points in 58 games, had 12 goals and 31 assists, and was continuing to slow down. The year before, he had put up 59 points in 74 games, and he was still not being the same guy. And he started to sense it, which is why in his final season, the 87-88 season, he put up 51 points in 72 games with 19 goals and 32 assists. Still a top four defenseman role and a top four defenseman year. And he decided to retire from there. He had one of the most legendary careers of any Islander ever and led the Islanders to a huge four Stanley Cup run era and i don't think that's anything to sneeze at and i think that he is going to go down as one of the best players in history of the league and i believe that he deserves his spot there and it'll stay there for a long 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 time thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please go down below and like and subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you guys in the next one and until then bye bye